Hey, what's up guys? Lucas here. I'm a concept artist and illustrator and today you're going to learn how to make a stylized portrait like this one and how to grab any photo and translate it into a drawing that actually looks like that person. So let's get to it. Recently I uploaded this image to my Instagram and I went through the process on how I made it. First you find a photo that you like, then you find the shapes that make this person unique, then you simplify those shapes replicate them and exaggerating if you want to exaggerate the portrait and then you draw the portrait. These are the same steps that we're gonna go through in this video but I'm gonna do it with Michael Scott. No God please no! No! Yeah I know I loved The Office and Michael Scott was my favorite character from the show so we're gonna make the stylized portrait of Michael so let's get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is throw a photo of Michael in Photoshop I'm gonna start tracing that photo. Why tracing? Because that clears the shapes of the face and helps you to understand to simplify what are those shapes. The first shape that you want to identify is the one of its face and the head. Is it square? Is it round? Is is it pointy or rectangular? In Michael's case, it looks like it's pretty square. Square with round corners. I'm gonna grab another color and I'm gonna try to capture the shape of his eyebrows. I think that his eyebrows are definitely one of the most recognizable things of Michael. So see, what I'm trying to do is not copy exactly the photograph, but try to find and simplify the most characteristic shapes of his face. The next thing that I think it is very recognizable from Michael is his nose. It is very straight on the top and it has this big and very round tip. Now what about the lips? Both of them are actually very thin. The upper one has this little indent and the lower one is just regular and thin. The next thing is that his eyelids seems to, seem to always be kind of half closed, like a type of lazy look. When doing a portrait, even the shape of the ears is something important. Because if you notice, his ears are actually very characteristic also. They are almost a perfect rectangle on the side of his face. So when you're doing anybody's portrait, the, the objective is to be able to dissect the, the features of this person, identify what makes this person unique and be able to replicate it. Besides the facial features, there are a lot of other things that you can use to kind of cheat your way into making this portrait look like the person you're drawing. For example, in Michael, if you, would, if you were to draw him, for example, with a t-shirt or something like that, it will not look like him. But the moment that you add a tie and a suit, Suddenly, there you go, it's Michael Scott. Now this is easy with Michael Scott and with other characters from TV because they kind of have a uniform, they, they act in a similar way, they always have these same facial expressions and they use the same clothes. But if you're drawing somebody from real life, then you might think that it is harder. But in fact, people in real life also wears something like a uniform. We are all characters in some way. We all have these very distinctive ways that we dress up or maybe we have some expressions that we use a lot. The more that you know the person, that is, the easier it is to be able to make a portrait of this person because the more you can put these small things that maybe they are not noticeable in a photo, but they are noticeable in a person if you know him or her. Props are the easiest way to make this thing work. For example, if the person that you're drawing always uses a hat, then throw one in there and it will definitely improve the resemblance. Or if the person wears a certain type of glasses. Or what happens if the person wears always an oversized hoodie. Use every single one of these tricks to improve the resemblance on your drawing. That's not how it works. Now how do you know how it works? Okay, so now we have these shapes, but of course I'm not gonna teach you just how to trace pictures. I'm gonna tell you how to make these shapes your own and draw this person in any angle that you want and capture the resemblance. So let's do that. I'm gonna come up here and translate the shapes that I grabbed. I'm gonna try to make them as simple as possible so that I can replicate them later. It is not only important that I put the eyebrows with the shape that I captured before, but the height at which I put them makes a person completely different. Let me show you. Michael has his eyebrows very close to his eyes. That means that I have to cover the upper eyelid with them. If I suddenly raise them, 
it doesn't matter that I nailed the shape of the eyebrows and the shape of the eyes, it will not look like Michael anymore. So pay attention to the shape, the angle and the position of the shapes that you're using. Feel free to exaggerate in this step of the process. It all depends how stylized you want to make the portrait. You can make super deformed caricatures with this process or realistic portraits. It doesn't matter, the process is the same. When drawing the mouth, pay special attention to how wide it is. Where do the corners of the mouth sit? I see by the reference that the corners of the mouth are a bit wider than the center of the eyes in the case of Michael Scott. Now let's go and put the shape of the ears. Pay attention to where do they start and, and where do they end. And there you go, congratulations! Now you have captured the essence of Michael Scott. Before we do the actual portrait of this guy, let me just take a moment and show you the power of this technique. How easily you can make different characters with these different shapes that we created. I'm gonna duplicate the whole thing, we're gonna put Michael here on the left, and we're gonna make a different character with these shapes. I'm gonna change the angle of the eyebrows, and I'm gonna make them thinner. I'm gonna change the angle of the eyes. I'm gonna change the height of the nose and the width of the mouth. And just with that, you can see it is no longer Michael Scott. Well, maybe he's like an angry version of Michael Scott, but <laughs> definitely not the default Michael Scott. This shows you how powerful this technique is and how many different characters you can make with it. And also that if you want to actually capture the essence and the likeness of any person, you have to be very, very careful about the shape, the angle and the position of all of these elements and I knew exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. Okay, with all of this out of the way, let me make the actual portrait. Okay, so this portrait is finished and looking good, but to be honest, it is a little bit too realistic for my taste. I prefer a little bit more stylized or caricaturized portraits, so let me give it a try and maybe I'll be able to teach you how to stylize a portrait. the stylized version of Michael but what I want you to take out of this is the idea that doing a stylized portrait or a realistic portrait is the same thing for you to be able to capture the likeness of a person you have to capture these shapes and draw them the only difference between realistic and stylized is how exaggerated these shapes are I'm gonna clean the lines a little bit and put some color in there so that you guys can see how it looks final painting this portrait with the multiply method. Now I wish that I could go into detail and explain you exactly how I'm painting this guy but I don't want to take your whole day doing this so if you are interested in a little bit more detailed process on how I paint things check this video out on the upper corner of the screen where you can watch a whole tutorial dedicated on my workflows on how to paint on digital either in Photoshop or Procreate or whatever software you use okay? So the painting is looking ready. Guys, I would love if you guys tell me in the comments what do you think of the painting and of the brushes because thanks to your feedback, the LP pencil case, my brush pack is almost ready. You can try out my LP Magic Chalk, my favorite brush for painting portraits down in the description and at the same time, you will get notified when in a couple of weeks I release this brush pack for everyone to try it out. And that's the final painting of Michael Scott, guys! Tell me if you like the painting and also tell me down in the comments if you want me to draw any other character either from The Office or any other show that you guys like. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video till the end. Leave me a like if it was useful and of course, subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!